being so why are you being so sassy? <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to snowy Michigan. <laughs> it snowed about an inch or so last night. Um the snow is starting to collapse a little, like get um like from the sun shining on it. It's not really melting, but it's collapsing down a little. You can actually see my fire pit right there now. Couldn't see it before. Yeah. <laughs> it actually feels warm right now. It's 19. And that's ridiculous to say that it actually feels warm. <laughs> but it's been so cold. Uh, every morning, like the other morning, it was negative 14. So um, 19 degrees feels warm. It's ridiculous. Okay, I gotta let these boys in. I was double checking to make sure I got all the land mines. I decided today I'm going to Family Farm and Home and I'm buying another poop can. We have one poop can back here and that's where I keep all my pooper scoopers. I have two different kinds of pooper scoopers. One for when it's grassy and one for chiseling landmines out of the snow. Um, and I'm going to put it back here behind this uh, little trailer um, because scooping up landmines in the snow, you get so much snow on your pooper scooper too. It gets filled so fast. I need, I wish they made a like extra large size pooper scooper. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you, where are you digging to? Where are you digging to? What? <laughs> What did you smell in there? Hopefully not poo. What did you smell in there? <laughs> What's going on? Let me see. Watch out, Magna. Let me see. Is there a toy in there? What's in there? Oh, I think it's a toy. Oh, it's a toy. <laughs> There's a ball in there. Oh. They're going to get mad at each other, trying to get it first. Hey, don't be mean to each other. Oh, Magnum, did you get it? Did you get it, Magnum? Milo, stop being crazy. <laughs> okay, watch out. Let me get it. Let me get it. <laughs> Miggy. Miggy knew there was a ball in there. Mickey knew there was a ball in there. Yes, he did. Don't worry, they're not being mean to each other. They're just, that's how they're the toys. They growl at each other. You knew there was a ball in there. Yes. All right, let's go let Grinch in. Oh, <laughs> he's gonna run around the ball. Uh, you gonna take it inside, Magnum? <laughs> Grant says, I wanna go in. You might think it's warm, but I'm cold. All right. So, yeah, I'm going to get another poop can uh, for out here. What in the world? What in the world, Milo? Are you angry at the ball? Okay, I'll let you in. I'll let you in. You guys are having my floors all wet. You think it's an animal you're trying to kill? <laughs> Milo, Milo's weird, isn't he, Miggy? <laughs> are you going to take it in or are you staying outside? Did you get snow in your mouth? You can take it in if you want. You can take it in, no? I think you got snow up your nose or something. You ready to come in yet, Miggy? Huh? Good job on burying the ball, Miggy. Are you ready to come in? Are you ready to come in? No, I think he always, from lately, he's been wanting to wait to do his business till everybody goes in. I don't know. He's He's being weird. <laughs> You're being weird, Miggy. You're being a weird puppy. Yes, you are. Pram, do your business. All right, guys, I'll be back. 
Why are you boys staring at me? You're giving me a complex. Why do you keep staring at me when I'm trying to get ready? You want something? Hmm? You think you need something? <laughs> I know what you guys want. I know what you boys want. Okay, even Grant's running. <laughs> even Grant's running. Bet y'all know where they're standing. I bet y'all know where you're standing. Oh, yes. Dental bones. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I, I bought some of these milk bone dental bones because I couldn't find the ones I normally buy. And they really like these. So, they seem to be maybe a little bit cheaper. Not sure. I'll have to figure out the price. But as long as they have a dental bone. Yeah, I couldn't find the ones I you buy. Not, I still have some, um, but I was getting kind of low. They don't last long when you're giving one a day to seven dogs. No, they don't. I still have this. I still have this container full, but the way things are going in the stores, I figured I buy, might as well buy some extra, right? Um, that's what I've been doing kind of with uh, everything, even our food. I have... I think I talked about how I was trying to stock up for to at least have hopefully three months worth of food. That buffet is full of food. This uh, little kitchen cart is full of food. <laughs> this right here has food and this up here has food. And then as you saw, I have my cupboards here full of food for the dogs and cats um, and treats. Not as much as I would like, but pretty stocked up. I also have um, my extra dry dog food. I'll show you where I'm keeping it. You're not going to believe it. <laughs> You're not going to believe it. Okay, let me show you. Yes, I'm going to my bedroom. Okay, I haven't made my bed yet. Okay, so this here is my closet. And over there is my husband's. I still need to paint those doors white. Um, we had to replace them because this closet door broke. But in here, in my closet, is bags of dog food. <laughs> yes, so I always have to make sure that these closet doors get shut. There's one. Let's see. How many bags are under there? I think there's three bags of the low fat. Two bags of blue buffalo. I mix those uh, for some of the, for most of the boys. Mozzie gets just that, and then I have a bag of Miggy's um, uh, kind uh, urinary formula um, that he eats. So yeah, I've got that. Um, and then in this closet here, I moved all this stuff down here. Um, I have. Oh, some candy stash, but we have this emergency long-term food storage. I have extra, that whole case in that is dog treats. This is all um, long-term food storage, milk, some treats. Somebody uh, kindly sent the boys seasonings, three huge bags of rice, some powdered milk, some ramen noodles. So I've also got this closet full of food. Okay, come on, Mozzie. Come on, that's not for you. No. Um, yeah, so that's what I've been doing. Because remember I said I feel like I said I feel like I just need it after the um what happened last spring and how like an utter shock I was at how the grocery stores looked. I thought I'm never going to feel that way again to where I feel like I've got to hurry up and buy everything. I'm just going to start, as things started becoming available again on the shelves after that whole first um, pandemic shopping that happened, I've just slowly been stocking up on things. And a lot of you um, who are in Texas were asking, how do we do it here with all the snow and the winter weather and the cold? Um, we've never... 
I don't know how Texas, I know, I think they're on their own grid or something. They're not on the main grid. Um, so I don't know exactly what's going on there, but we don't use, we don't lose power usually in the winter. I remember one winter, it was before Christmas, a lot of people around here lost power for a week. Thankfully, it was in December, which is not, it's cold, but it's not as cold as it's been this past couple of weeks. Um, but we have a couple propane heaters um, that you can use indoors. We always keep, Mozzie, what'd you do? I think he was eating his bone in there. Now he's getting all the crumbs. Um, he always lays on a dog bed to eat his bone. <laughs> um so we, so we always keep, uh, I think we have three or four big propane tanks that we always try to make sure they're always full. We have our gas grill outside with a propane tank uh, that we could use to cook. I also have a camp stove um, upstairs in my storage that we could use to cook on. We have a fire pit in the backyard. Um, we've always had, in every house we lived in, we always have a fire pit. So... We could use that for cooking. I have special, I actually got some new ones. They're out here in my closet. I got a new bench to sit here and put shoes on and a coat rack the other day. I told my husband that's what I wanted for my birthday. <laughs> a coat rack here so I could quickly grab coat, hat, gloves, because the closet right here I do not use for um, a coat closet. I use that out by the main door. So it was nice to have a coat rack here and a bench here so I could sit and get my boots on. Um, so I told him that's what I wanted for my birthday. So this closet I use for my vacuum, my mops, my aprons, my bag of bags, um, odds and ends that won't fit in the kitchen. I use up, put up there on the shelf um, and my extra hangers here for the laundry room here. But we have these two that I just got. Um, on Amazon these cookers for the fire pit um, they're like square cast iron cookers you can cook eggs in here with your sausage some bacon you can make um, a lot of people make pizza you butter two pieces of bread stick some pizza sauce in there some pepperoni whatever um, make some of those make heated up sandwiches with ham cheese, uh, just grilled cheese, hobo pies. Uh, those are two pieces of bread buttered with some pie filling. Best pies ever. Um, <laughs> so I have three of these in here. I just got them in here for now because I need to, I need to season them because they're cast iron. I've um, got some new ones because ours were getting kind of cruddy and I got some those are better ones. The ones we had before were kind of cheap. So I've uh, got some of those. So we have that we can cook with. I have a tripod thing um, that goes over the fire pit. It has a grilling surface so you could grill hamburgers, steaks, whatever out there on the fire pit. And we also have our, um, we knew we wanted a house with the fireplace. We were lucky enough to have, get, find a house that had two. This is a natural uh, burning fireplace and then on the other side in the front room in the schnauzer room as I call it, it There's a gas fireplace So we could cook in here too on the fire and we could also huddle in here and keep warm if power was out so um, Living here in the nor northern states you've got to which we're in Michigan um, You have to think about that in case power goes out <laughs> or if you have a huge storm and you can't get anywhere and you need food so Yes, we have plenty of food now in case of emergency, any kind of emergency. Um, as we saw with the um, closing down of everything and the pandemic shopping from, uh, I'm not going to say the word because I've heard some people's videos have been getting flagged for saying um, certain words, so I'm not going to say it. But what happened last spring, we've seen that food could be gone in a flash. And from what I was watching, I was watching some YouTube videos Looks like before all this happened in Texas, stores were like stripped clean of groceries. I couldn't believe it. Um, yeah, so I've been I've been working hard trying to get up a stash of food and long-term food storage, like in my closet over there. That stuff stays good 25, 30 years. So, um, and I've got upstairs, I'm not gonna go up there, but I have extra lots of water and 
after the whole pandemic shop pandemic shopping when toilet paper and paper towel became available again i've got myself slowly built up a stash of that too <laughs> upstairs in a closet so um so we're prepared now for heating to be able to cook our food we also have a generator too now um we saved up money and got a generator um we keep extra gas like i said propane tanks so um we're set if we uh if we lost power or something where we had to be in our house for three months, we could be. So, yes. So that's how we do it here. And you have to think about that anyways, living in a winter, uh, uh, winter climate up north. Um, you got to be prepared for situations like that. So, um, anyways. So, I got some chicken cooking for the... What, we got to go outside? Okay. <coughs> They made it to the shed today. Sometimes they stop, turn around. <laughs> oh my goodness. So in, on that note too, about all the storage of food, I realized that since it's been hard to find canned dog and cat food, I thought for the dog food, I'm going to start saving that canned dog food for emergency. So I'm making the boys some chicken here in my, uh, multi-cooker here um i'm just gonna start boiling up chicken and green beans to add to their dry food um grant is very finicky he's very stubborn about eating just dry food my boys will with no problem but he has to he, he was always um fed canned food with his dry food so i've always put a little bit of canned food in with his dry food and then i felt bad and started giving the boys some too so <laughs> i thought I'm going to keep all that canned food I have, which is right in here. I have went through some of it. I'm going to start keeping that on hand. Now, if it starts to get to a date, let's see what the date on these are. Let's see here. These are good till... Oh, these are good till 2023. February 2023, so two years. So these will store for a long time. And plus canned goods are good for a long period after that. So I'm going to just start saving that. And as long as I can get chicken and some frozen green beans, I'm just going to start putting a little bit of that in with the boys uh, dog food and keep that canned food on hand. So, all right, guys, I got to get myself together because my daughter and I are going to go shopping. Got to get that um, poop can for the backyard. And I never said in the last clip why I wanted it. I want it because... Um, my poop scoop gets so full with snow and everything, plus the poop. I'm sick of having to trudge back up here to dump my poop scoop. So I figure if I have one towards the back, it'll make it easier getting the landmines picked up. So, yeah, they're all back in that back corner. That's where the sun hits really good. <laughs> so they stay a little warmer. <laughs> all right, guys, we'll be back. I also forgot to mention too, we have uh, a freezer and a refrigerator. Oh. Really? Oh. Really? Oh. <laughs> we have a refrigerator and a freezer out in our garage. So we keep um, firewood in the garage uh, to easily grab. I just had my son Yesterday he was over, so I had him grab some out from by the fire pit and bring it in here. So all the snow is melting off the firewood. <laughs> um, so you got to have firewood if you got a fireplace um, and a fire pit. So we just, um, we order it from a guy here locally. He comes, dumps it in the driveway, and we stack it outside in the backyard. So um, got to have plenty of firewood on hand. Um, that will help if you have a fireplace, keep you warm. Um, if the power goes out and then we have our old fridge from our old house out here just has like extra drink it has our drinks milk extra half and half just extra stuff in there and then our big freezer we got at Christmas time this is our Christmas gift to ourselves. we wanted to get a big freezer we had a small chest freezer which is over here uh, it doesn't have anything in it I don't know if I want to get rid of it or if I want to if I want to sell it or keep it, I'm not sure yet. 
I'll probably keep it because you never know. Um, what if I need to store more stuff? <laughs> um, because it's just not, my son does live outside of the house now with his girlfriend, but I always think if there's ever an emergency, I've got extra for him and his girlfriend, my mother-in-law who um, has recently moved out here for us to help uh, help her out, not in, not moved here to our house, but in this area to be closer to us. I got to feed her too. So I've got to have extra food on hand, not just for myself and my husband and my daughter who still lives at home, but for other people outside of the home too, in case of a weird emergency. So, um, so this freezer is full of like meats, um, extra butter, extra bread, um, just frozen convenience foods, stuff like that. So we've got food out here too. So I thought I'd better share that too. And if it, and if power or something went out in the winter, we could throw it outside. But this garage is cold. I think it would stay okay for a while. Oh my goodness, it's cold out there. Yes, it is. Boys. It's so cold out there. Yes, it is. Um, and like I said, we saved up money uh, this past year and got a generator. Yes, got a generator. So we it's not a big one, but we can at least run our appliances to keep our food from spoiling. Um, especially if the power went out in the summertime, that would be horrible. So anyways, just want to share that to you. Okay. I've got to get myself together. My daughter keeps yelling at me because she wants to go shopping. So I got to get, get myself together, Miggy. Yes. I got to get, I got to get myself looking presentable. Yes. <laughs> to go looking at a different store um, go to another family farm and home or to a tractor supply um because they were all sold out i'm kind of bummed i was hoping to have that today <sighs> oh well had fun had fun shopping my daughter bought me applebee's so that was nice of her um, grant you didn't even go potty <laughs> you didn't even go potty yet come on Let's go. Let's go potty. Come on. No, you got to go potty. I don't even think you left the porch. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go potty. Let's go. <laughs> I don't even think you left the porch. I think you just started barking when Miggy and Max were barking. <laughs> you silly puppy. Look at him. <laughs> Look at him run. He's so cute. <laughs> oh, I noticed in a clip... I don't remember what clip it was. I was talking. I said the boy. I called the boys outside like they were the boys and Grant wasn't. That was just a slip of tongue. He's part of the boys too. It's just that's what I just say. Whenever I'm talking about the dogs, I say the boys, my boys. It's just what I say. So I don't want anybody to think anything. You might not even have caught it. It might have just been me saying that. I don't know. And thinking that. But I don't want you guys to think that I don't think he's part of the crew because he is. It's just what I say. My boys, my boys. Okay, I'm gonna put. It, you know what? I'm gonna put it right in the middle of the snow. Let's see what happens. Okay, watch out! I'm gonna kick it. Oh, am I terrible? Let's see. Oh. <laughs> I'm terrible, Mickey. I feel bad now. <laughs> He's trying to find a spot without the snow. He's like. <laughs> I may have to go in there and get it for him. Do I need to go get your <laughs> I'm a bad mama. I'm a bad mama. Oh, you got snow up your nose. I'll go get it for you. I'll go get it for you. Hold on. I'll go get it. I got boots on. I'll go get it. Oh, I'm a terrible, terrible schnauzer mom. Terrible. Oh, I'm going to have snow in my boots. Oh, Mickey, you almost just tripped me. <laughs> you just, oh, you're 
Miggy or Milo. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick it out of the snow. Hey, hey, be nice to each other. Watch out! I'm gonna get it out of the snow. Oh, Magnum's! Up. Look at it. everybody's following. Me. They're like, you made a trail, Mom. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Watch out! Oh, there's another toy here, boys. There's another toy. Look at it. I found another toy. <laughs> Magnum's following me. Magnum, we're in the deep snow. Okay. That's got, everybody's going to be so wet. <laughs> that was bad. That was bad. All right, I got to pick up the landmines. That's enough messing around. <laughs> That's enough messing around. I feel snow in my boots. I feel snow in my boots. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get going, clean landmines. Hope everybody has had a great Friday and has a great weekend. Um, and I hope everybody's staying warm. I hope the power outages are over in Texas. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't watched the news or um, caught up on that. Um, Maybe you guys got some good tips on what we do in the winter. I don't know. Um, so I, have, I hope everybody's safe. So, all right, guys, I'm going to get going. It's getting a little chilly now. Sun's going down. All right, bye. <laughs>